Wolong begins with a history lesson, and like all history lessons, there's a bit of fluff in retelling the story. It is explained that the fall of the Qin dynasty was due to the zealous nature of its rulers in their pursuit of the elixir that grants immortality, warning that the Han dynasty that followed would end under the same circumstances. The Han Dynasty was a golden age in China's coming of age that is still highly influential on Chinese society today. In the midst of this epic period of China's formation, there were three kingdoms that vied for supremacy. The Kingdom of Chao Wei, led by Chao Chao. The Wu Kingdom, led by the Sun family. And the Shu Han, led by Bei Liu. The joint conquest to unite China was upended in the late 100s by the Yellow Turban Revolt. This peasant revolt, led by the so-called Yellow Turbans, benefited the Taoist society due to the secret association between the Taoists and the rebels, as seen with the Taoist in black whispering in the ears of men he wishes to seduce by the allure of power. In war, everyone is an opportunist, and the Three Kingdoms period saw many false alliances forged and broken at the expiration of their usefulness. In mutual benefit, at times during this revolt, the leaders of the kingdoms joined forces to restore peace to the greater region. One of the strongest military commanders of the time, Chao Chao, staged an offensive against Zhang Jiao, one of the leaders of the turbans. As presented in the game, the real-life figure was said to be a follower of Taoist sorcery. The protagonist is seen slaughtering turbans during the burning of a village led by Zhang, saving the blindfolded monk from being maimed by the rioters. Wounded by a yellow soldier, he is revived by a divine beast talisman using the elixir field. Zhang Liao historically is one of the three heroes helping to found the Han Dynasty. But in Wolong, he is featured as a corrupted leader of the Turban Revolt, brainwashed by the elixir given to him by the nefarious Taoist in black. Ying Long is summoned to help defeat Zhang, but the Taoist imprisons the boy and steals the dragon along with the protagonist's talisman. In the game, this Taoist monk is fueling the fire of battle to unleash energy of Qi through mass extinction in order to create the almighty elixir which would grant eternal life and bring about the yellow heaven. This Taoist villain is a reference to the corrupt nature and bad influence of Taoist monks over the period in which military leaders gave audience to the leaders of this philosophy at the cost of their empires ending in ruin in part because of the Taoist misguidance and extortion. With the defeat of Zhang Jiao, Chao Chao begins bringing Jiao's peasant soldiers under his own command, thanks to the influence of his agrarian policies which were improvements upon Zhang's own design. This enabled his position to grow as he now maintained one of the largest standing armies in the land, and at the same time, alliances with the Sun family and Yuan Shao were stable, but inevitable to collapse under the weight of ambition. Speaking of unchecked ambition, one of the main culprits of Calamity, the Ten Eunuchs grew in stature and regard from mere servants of the court to advisory roles holding considerable influence over the Emperor, extorting him and selling their favors to the next highest bidder. Zhang Rong, in particular, amassed a great deal of wealth through manipulating donors in order to build his own private palace that rivaled the Imperial House routinely engaged in plots to overthrow the emperor and install their own puppet ruler, the eunuchs had to be stopped. Eventually, Xiao led a revolt against them, leading to the demise of the ten, which were actually twelve, eunuchs. In the game, Zhang is using the elixir and human subjects to steal their life force and spread death among the land. Chao Chao and his armies are assisted by the Faith Healers, the hermits of the hidden village of Tianju. Hong Jing is an orphan trained by Suo, a practitioner of medicinal alchemy said to have lived for 300 years. Together, the team is able to sense disturbances in the Qi. The Snake Lady Jin is an astrologer who in real life married around during the period 
being the wife of one of Yuan Shao's sons until his defeat during Guandu. Nonetheless, she bore many children who would also take the throne of Chao Chao's empire after his death. Chao Chao, who also went under other names, had known Xiao in his youth and became his rival as time went on, as both wished to conquer separate geographic regions of China and unite them under a singular rule. In the east, Zhu Zhong deposed Xiao and installed his own puppet emperor. Later, Chao Chao, having formed his own private army, created a temporary alliance with Xiao to regain control of the lost territories. Zhou Dong fled battle, abandoning his stolen land, only to be hunted down and later assassinated by Lu Bu, one of Dong's disloyal subordinates, as shown in game. Lu Bu was a treacherous soldier of fortune famous for betraying his master, and he did so time and time again when opportunity presented itself. He sought favor with various wartime leaders, such as Yuan Shao, and even fought against Chao Chao to gain control over the Yan province. Chao Chao would eventually reclaim this land from Bu, while Bu would also serve under Bei Liu and even fight against Chao Chao against Yuan Shu the Pretender. At the end of his life, Lu Bu would once again defect to Yuan Shu, until ultimately being cornered by the armies of Bu Liu and Chao Chao, and executed on the spot. In the game, Xiao and Chao lead the offensive against Dong. The capital of Luoyang was burned by China's most wanted man, Zhuo Dong, as the forces closed in on his location. As I've said, many warriors traded allegiances during this period, such as Liao Zhang joining Chao Chao after leaving Bu's army. Lu took control of Pu Yang, the subject of the battle for Yan province in 195, in which Xiao Dun proved his loyalty to his master by forcing Lu's retreat. Lu was defeated at his home of Qi Pi and executed. Shortly after this, Xiao takes control of Chao Chao territories, but this is only temporary. Under the influence of the elixir, he uses his newfound power to turn men to demons in pursuit of rule against his friend turned rival, Chao Chao. Xiao was destroyed during the Battle of Guandu, a battle to unite the north in which he significantly outnumbered Chao Chao, but was unable to outthink him and his forces. The ambitions and conflict led to the war between the two frenemies, as well as the real-life Chao Chao's manipulation of the emperor at the destruction of the capital city. Many of the others did not respect the emperor's authority and so fought for themselves. In reality, Chao Chao himself is said to have been the de facto emperor of the Han Dynasty for a time, despite never formally claiming himself to be. Eventually, the Taoist in black is defeated and this blindfolded boy is restored his sight. He looks at the future and sees a vision of Chao Chao setting sail with the elixir in order to consolidate his power given the newfound rivalries that have emerged, perhaps preparing for confrontation with Sun Jun. The Battle of Jiangling, which is probably going to be DLC. Yuan 